I just went to AutoZone and got the paint that we need and the Bondo metal filler and I'll show you. This is the shade of silver I got. Ultra silver metallic. It's really pretty and it's it was the lightest silver that they had. I think it'll look really nice on there. So I got that. Got three cans of it. That's all they had so should be enough. They're eight ounces each. And then I got two cans of the gloss clear coat, especially for wheels. And well, sure. And then I got this, the filler for these big gouges. Then I got this little wire wheel brush to so get inside of the um, lug nut holes. And it should be easier to get all the junk out of the um, scratches on here. On the website, it showed this came with little um, scraper and whatnot. It didn't, so I had to buy this. Um, so we have those, so I can force it into these crevices easily. The lint-free um, chop towels, and then two bottles of primer. This is the filler filler primer. So you spray it on with 320, you sand this down to 320, great, the whole thing. And then you spray this on, let it sit, I think it's like an hour or something. And then you sand it down with 600 grit and then you paint over it. And this fills in like some of the lighter scratches like those that you'll be able to see. Oh, so this one has original SS um, tire cap on it barely see it. If you get it wet, you can see it a lot better, but I thought that was really cool. Okay, and then here's this one. Off to get the tires removed. Got the tires off. This is the one with the little dent. See how it's just the lid? It should be fine. But the rest is good. The barrel's good. This, this part too, where the tire sits, that's good. It's just the, the lip and it didn't leak. So today we're going to be preparing the wheels and painting them. I already started with one off camera just because it was late last night when I started and I wanted to kind of figure everything out so I wasn't distracted. And so far I have sanded it, put the Bondo in, done all the prep, uh, primer, sanded the primer. I'm on to the paint coating. I did my last coating. Now I have to wait 30 minutes until I can clear coat it. This is what we have. Well, it's a good thing I painted the wheel inside. It was just clear. Hmm. Interesting. So here's the last coat of paint. Now, I didn't do the best job at getting these filled in. You can still kind of see them, but it's way better than it was. Nice metallic-y paint. Yeah, there's the wheel. See all those little sparkles got everywhere. It's crazy. First step to painting the wheels is to wash it with soap and water and get all the grease off as best as you can. Let's start that. Right, 
Now what we're going to want to do is get some 80 grit sandpaper and sand down to bare metal where any super deep scratches are. And like this right here, this is the bend. This is the bent rim. And we're just gonna sand this down. And I have the, a wire wheel on attachment for the drill that I'm gonna get the inside of this all cleaned out with. And like these little ones might be able to just sand all the way down smooth. And like this one right here, that'll definitely just sand down. We won't have to fill it. And, and we will probably have to fill these right here. But yeah, that's basically what, what we'll do. And then once we're done sanding those down, we'll wipe it down with alcohol and get the Bondo out, fill it in. So yeah, let's get started. Now I'm going to clean up the gouges that I have sanded down with the wire brush here. And then I'm also going to clean out the black nut holes and the center cap hole with it. Now I'll clean it up later with some sandpaper as well, but that's a good fast way to get the first hard chunks out. It's the valve stem area too. I used this wire wheel brush and just did the whole thing. Just like that. And it cleared up really nicely, but it took forever. So I might try something else, but that's probably what's gonna work the best. This works really good to take off the old wheel weight glue. Watch this, that one right there, super hard to get off. I'm gonna try it on this plasti dip smear there, see what happens. It was way more tough than I expected. I think I might try to use the electric sander. Just sand it out, probably be way easier. Okay, so now we are going to do the Bondo step. First is to wipe down all areas that I'm going to fill with Bondo with rubbing alcohol and a lint-free cloth. I'm gonna do it on both of these wheels at the same time because you mix quite a bit. This always takes quite a while because it's super dirty. You have to do it, otherwise it won't stick. You have to wipe it until no, no dirt comes up. I think those are the only spots we were gonna do on this wheel. Right there and right there. Now we need to go to this one. 
A lot of it actually sanded away. I was not expecting that much to be able to be sanded away. I think there was just three on this one. Now we let it dry. While it's drying, I'm going to mix the Bondo. You need to get something plastic so it doesn't soak in because it'll make the mixture wrong. It's very potent. So what we're gonna wanna do is make half of this lid covered in this. And be a half inch thick. There you go. And then scoop it off. Now we need to put 17 drops in it. And when we mix, we have to go like this to, so we don't introduce air into it. Try not to make a mess. It's already started to harden. So now we wait. All right, so now that this is done drying, we've got to sand it down with 320 grit sandpaper, the entire wheel, until it's smooth and there's no more large scratches. Once we do that, we can prime it. This one I've already sanded down. You can see it's all white. Gotta rub it down with rubbing alcohol, and then we can frame it. I also decided to hit this with some 600 grit sandpaper so I can paint these the same color as the wheels. It's just a little plastic piece, pops in. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is sand down the Bondo with 80 grit sandpaper. And do the flat parts first, and then once that's um, down to almost the metal where you can just see the marks. We're gonna sand the entire thing with 320. Uh, after we do this with the 80 grit, we'll move on to the edge, the rim. And then once that's down, then 320, the entire thing. There you have it. So, right here, I fixed the, well, tried to. It looks a lot better than it was for sure. Um, this big old dent here. But yeah, looks like I did miss a spot where Bondo was supposed to go, right there. But, and right there. Yeah, I missed a few spots, but that's okay. Now we need to sand it all down with 320. It has been a long day. I started this at 10 a.m. and it is 8.45 right now. So yeah, I've got them all sanded. Now we have to rub them down with rubbing alcohol, clean them all up, and then we can shoot the primer. The camera makes that one look white, and that's what color I wanted to paint them, but I figured that was too flashy for a Malibu, but I think it looks cool. 
Let's get started. Got them all cleaned up. That always takes forever. Now I've got to prime them, but it is getting a little cold. In here, it's probably fine, but it's definitely too cold out there. So I've got the <laughs> paint in my pocket and we'll prime it up. Well, here they are. This is the finished one. Well, the first one. I think I need to wet sand this down and put another coat of paint on it and clear it again. Let's look how weird this looks. This is like darker and rough, and this is smooth and light. I just don't think I painted it correctly the first time. Anyways, I also have to clear coat under here, the inside. Here's these. They're um, drying right now. I just finished priming them and chucked them in here so I could get ready for sleep because I am tired. There you go. We'll see you back in the morning. It is the next day and we're going to finish the wheels. Good morning, everyone. It is currently 8.30 and we're going to finish up these wheels and get the tires put on today. Now we have to sand the whole wheel down with 600 grit until it's smooth because the primer is rough and we'll just sand out any like rough spots or little scratches stuff like this and um, I'll get back to you. Okay, now they are all sanded down and I need to wipe them off with alcohol again and then time for paint, finally. They're all cleaned off, now it is time to paint. All the wheels are clear coated and now we're just waiting three hours before we go put tires on. Uh, this one I accidentally messed up. I hit it with the spray paint can while I was spraying the other wheel. I nicked it. So I'm gonna have to fix that later but I'm gonna do it once we have the tires on since it's just a small patch. Uh, there's this one and I clear coated the insides. So the faces should be dry but the insides are it's about 30 minutes since I painted them, maybe an hour. There's this one. This one's actually really good. Besides the part that I couldn't fix. 
Yeah. There's that one. Here's the insides of these. And these are cool because it has the date they were made stamped in them. And three of them were made in 2005. And this one was made in 2007. Very interesting. But anyways, here's these. I think this one might be the best one. It's got a few little on divots in that I couldn't fill in or sand down, but or this one. These two are both really good. So yeah, now we wait. Then we can go put tires on them. And I believe this one yeah, this is the one that I did yesterday, the first one, and I don't think I um, painted it enough. I don't think there's enough coats on it. See how it's like, you kind of see the primer underneath? It's very strange. Also, I think I only did one coat of clear on accident. I don't remember doing more than one coat, and I would explain why only right here is shiny and the rest is rough. Because these I did three coats of clear on. Look how shiny it is. This one. It's matte, so I'll have to wet sand it later and put a few more coats on it and clear it. But the important part is done. I also painted these, not the best. I probably could have done a few more coats. I mean, they're not bad. Time to go get tires put on. Let's do it. Got the tires. Now let's go home and put them on.